let's make it clear, the pig does not recover from the surgery. That's correct. Or even wake up? Never. Okay. So you, uh, you anesthetize the animal as if it was a veterinary procedure, take the measurements, that's it for the pig. That's right. This is, we want to separate two issues here. One is animal research and humane treatment. This is humane treatment. The animal's under general anesthesia and never recovers. It, it experiences no pain and no suffering. The information that's gained is extremely valuable. I have a question. There are 15 million animals senselessly put to death in pounds every year in the United States. Why can't we, in a humane way, make those deaths have some purpose, some meaning, by advancing the care of not only man, but farm animals and pets as well? Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Let's. Uh... Who would like to uh, who would like to volunteer, uh, Mr. Amory? Well, uh, you know, having lived through a long period of the animal research controversy, the first one laboratory I ever visited said, uh, "Do your best. You never can tell when some anti-vivisectionist will come around." I've seen us accused of all kinds of emotionalism, and now I see the doctors bringing a a child that wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for the wonderful things, and I've seen emotion turn the other way. Uh, that good doctor that just spoke now, speaking about uh, let's take the animals from the pounds uh, and instead of putting them down, let's have them have this wonderful research and this extraordinary care that he seems to give all his animals. If he does, he's one in a million. Uh, the point is very simply that uh, 50 uh, counties in this uh, state of California have already banned the seizing of dogs for pounds. The animals go under excruciating experiments all over. They are so absurd, some of them. You bring up the question of terrorism, for example, and breaking in. Why do you think, Marty, people break in? They don't break in because, you know, they want to destroy something. They break in because an insider has given word that there is something going on that is so frightful and so awful that they've got to get those kittens out of there. I'm saying kittens because the latest one was the University of Oregon where they were taking kittens, rotating their eyeballs, and seeing how high they could fall. Okay, let, let, now, you know, this oh, is... Wait a minute. Wait, wait, just wait. Let, uh, let, wait, let me, let me get, clarify something because I, I, I want to understand. This, cover, this whole issue of animal rights covers a very broad, broad subject. Uh, we were asking specifically about the procedure that Dr. Engler is doing and you said because some of the procedures are so horrible, uh, often it is cited studies that do on their face look horrible. I wonder if, if anyone would address themselves specifically to this case, because I'd like to better understand it. Do you object to, to the use of the pig in this, if this you, specific kind of process? If you've got uh, to put process? the pig down, but notice how they always talk heart trouble, they talk cancer, they don't talk about oven cleaners, they don't talk about you know, Dre's tests, they don't talk about hair dyes, under their cloak. <laughs> these, men, these men beside me are reasonable men, but under their cloak of being judge and jury of every damn thing that's done in a laboratory, and I say damn on purpose, that they, they are responsible because they won't go one inch. They talk about humane treatment. I'm talking about humane experiments or even pointful experiments that aren't get done to get the damn money. Okay, I, I'm still, uh, go ahead, Dr. Yeah, Morgan. go ahead and answer because uh, I'm still confused because I'm still hearing two messages. I heard uh, uh, from Ms. Cartmill, no animals at all in medical research, and you're making a differentiation. L let me let Dr. Zola Morgan uh, respond, and then we'll go back to it. Let me just it. try and again separate out one of the issues here. Uh, Mr. Amory's talking about product safety testing. Now, consumers demand that the products they buy are safe and in part that requires animal testing. But that's not the issue here. The issue here is the use of animals in biomedical research. That's a very different issue. And the notion that, that Mr. Amory suggests that uh, Dr. Engler is one in a million, for instance, because uh, his animals uh, do not suffer is an absurd notion. We have an incredible amount of regulation and requirements that ensure the welfare of animals. The bottom line here is that we are trying to deliver health care and benefits to our patients 
And we believe and have shown that that can be done while at the same time ensuring the welfare of animals. Sir, we are I'm regulated. Afraid. We are regulated. Well, I'm going to answer well, that. I'm going to uh, give you a chance. Sentence. Very, very quickly. Oh, one okay. sentence. One sentence. They okay. did not one damn thing to improve this humanity. This went because the Do Do Dole Bill was passed, the Dole Brown Bill. Okay. Now they don't even put on their panels somebody that they, the, by law decreed that we appeal to. Half the time it's a, a doc who's doing the most awful okay. things you can imagine. We'll get back to it, I promise. Let me give you the phone number at home if you'd like to call in a question. 570-1339. 570-1339. Phone lines are open right now. We'll be back at USD after this break. Third Thursday is brought to you by the bank that serves San Diego best for 100 years, San Diego Trust and Savings Bank, and by your San Diego County Cadillac dealers. the road to open a $500 savings plan at San Diego Trust and Savings Bank because you'll get checking free of monthly charges, free access to a huge ATM network, and round-the-clock phone service. Plus, the interest you'll earn isn't just chicken feed. So open a 74 savings plan at San Diego Trust. Hi. May I help you? It'll give you a good reason to... <laughs> Give a guess what this little number is going for today. It's a big number, almost $45,000, and it's still a six-cylinder car. Compare that to the 89 Cadillac Seville's exclusive 4.5-liter V8 performance. Its great suspension gives you more feel for the road, more control, more value for $13,120 less than the BMW. See your San Diego County Cadillac dealer. Your car doesn't have to be as old as these for you to have trouble finding the right ignition parts, especially if you're looking for them at the wrong store. But at Chief Auto Parts, we've got thousands of parts for thousands of cars. So whether your car is as old as these or as new as this, you will find the part you need. And right now, at Chief Storewide Vacation Day Sale, you'll find Prestone Advanced Formula Coolant just $7.99 a gallon. Chief Auto Parts, we're ready to work when you are. Sugarcane always has the best selection of rattan, wicker, and patio furniture, including this all-weather wicker weaved on aluminum frames from Lloyd Flanders. We've reduced prices on our entire inventory, and you don't have to make any payments until next year. This unique set is a Sugarcane exclusive from Meadowcraft. Nobody sells more casual furniture from the world's leading manufacturers than Sugarcane, and nobody beats our low prices. Enjoy your new casual furniture now, and don't make any payments until next year during Sugarcane's storewide clearance sale in the San Diego and North County Home Furnishing Centers. We are back uh, live at USD. We are talking about the use of animals in research. Dr. Brezal, let me ask you, and let, let me uh, explain the group that you are with. Uh, you are the San Diego Director of Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Can you clarify this issue for, uh, for me? I want to understand if, if we can even establish ground rules, because we've gone from there should be no animals used whatsoever to a sense that maybe some experiments are A, worthwhile, and B, humane, to not worthwhile and totally inhumane. Can you, can you help me sort it out? Yes, Marty. First, I'd like to clarify what the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine represents. Up until very recently, there have been few credentialed people that were willing to speak out about their own personal beliefs regarding the inhumanity of some experiments being performed in laboratories. Uh, today, there is a group uh, headquartered in Washington, D.C., which consists of 2,000-plus physicians and 16,000-plus associate members, many of whom are tenured academics and many of whom are academic chairpersons of universities. The position of the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine is that research will not stop, research should not stop, responsible research should go on and that every possible means for providing alternative methods to animal research should be sought for and explored. We don't expect animal research to cease tomorrow. Animal research may not cease in my lifetime, but eventually the day will come when the use of animals in biomedical research will have become a historical fact. I'd like to address Dr. Zola Morgan's uh, 
subject about the strict regulation of medical research because it has direct pertinence to the clip that we just saw.